Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And today is the release of Pandora's new summer 2023 collection. I went to my local store with my daughter and let me share with you my first picks. This little cutie is the metallic blue gecko. And as soon as I saw the release photos in the catalog and online, I knew I would be adding this one to my Pandora collection. I think I've even mentioned in a previous video that Pandora needs to pay attention to other little critters. And this guy is so cute. So he is a little bit smaller. Pandora does acknowledge it's a little bit smaller, but I think the size variation will add some interest to a bracelet. Um, he features kind of an ombre effect to some teal, to some darker blue. And then look how the tail wraps around. So as you can probably notice, he is going to be a flipper on a bracelet. So he will be doing that. But I think once you put charms on either side of him, or you could put one of those little silicone stoppers underneath as well, if you didn't want him to flip around. But sometimes I find the flippers, like as you're wearing them, they do naturally kind of rotate their way around on a bracelet design. So this little cutie has two dark little eyes surrounded by silver and I think that is such a nice detail because he really stands out and I like how his scales stand out as well and his hallmark is actually pretty tiny right underneath his body there. So he is adorable and he was my must have from this collection. Everything else that I'm going to show you were items that I was really drawn to once I was in the store. And I was very drawn to this one. This is called the Opalescent Ocean Deep Blue Charm. So it is not a Murano glass. Um, it is man-made and it is a stone. Pandora is actually calling this one a stone. And of course, what I'm attracted to is look at that green shimmer. And these, like Riri Baby has mentioned in her video, you cannot go wrong with these. They're almost pretty much identical. And I just tried to pick one that was a little bit wider than some of the others, but even size-wise, these were all pretty identical. So absolutely stunning. And let me compare it with the other opalescent charm. So here is the comparison of the two together, and they are quite different. Uh, this one, of course, has the lighter pastel shades, and then we've got the deeper colors on this one. And here it is with the bubbles, the back of bubbles here. And yeah, I think he's gonna blend really well on a bracelet design. I really like that there's no pink involved. Um, I know there's a lot of pink lovers out there, but I think because the first one had the pink tones, it's nice to just kind of see the green and the blue together. This next charm that I picked out is absolutely amazing. It is called the Sparkling Bee Dangle. And as you can see, that is a crystal there. So that is not a Murano glass, it's actually a crystal. And then it looks like it has a nice black stripe that is painted on top of the crystal, or maybe it's enamel, I'm not sure. Maybe it's glass, I'm not sure what that feature is, how they did that nice contrast. But the crystal is such a nice warm honey tone. You've got the open work pattern on the wings there. You've got some CZs. Look at the bail on this one. It's in the shape of a honeycomb. What a nice extra little detail. And then the back, you've got the bee's body. The stripes are actually little openings there just to allow some light through to make that crystal just shine. So this one, as soon as I saw it in the catalog, I was intrigued. And when I saw it in person, I just absolutely loved it. Um, I am drawn to the warm colors and I do like the critters. So my store got five of these in stock and I, <laughs> poor sales lady, um, I had them bringing out all five to me because I wanted to see all of them. So there is a little bit of variation on this one in the black stripe um, and also in the size of the crystal. Not a ton of variation, but a little bit. And if you did compare one to the other, you would notice that as well. But such a beautiful, beautiful dangle. So I just quickly want to refer you to the new Pandora catalog that was released for spring and summer 2023. And I'm just going to open the page to the animals and pets. And you can see some of the new charms that were released. There is the little gecko. 
that hermit crab oh my goodness that one was really sweet um, and it will glow in the dark the butterfly I took a look at it um, it wasn't my first pick but it's definitely on the wish list and then if we move over to this side you can see the color changing jellyfish and that one was super cute next to the new uh, lab created opal and then you can see some of the other summer charms there so the charm that i picked and it was a debate it was a debate between the hermit crab the jellyfish and then the one that i actually picked out so the charm that excited me the most is this one here and this is sebastian released under the little mermaid line and it's a very much a realistic looking crab um, you've got the six legs there you've got the little bead eyes and do you see at the bottom this little claw right here it actually moves back and forth it's got some movement to it and if I flip this one onto its side you can see that the bail is also a little crab claw and then here is the back so look at all that nice wavy motion detail and it just allows some light to shine through on that Murano glass. You can see how this little claw just kind of moves like so. And then if I go back to the front of this charm, you have the hallmark at the bottom right there. So this one here, I like the warm tones as I mentioned, and I just kept picturing this one in different designs that I had, and it just adds that little extra pop of color. So let's compare it now with the B and the new opal charm. And I really like this combination as well. I think it's kind of fun. Um, I'm just gonna call this the opal charm from now on because it's got such a long name. But I thought the B and this little crab even looks kind of cute together in my world. And I also thought this little crab would look really nice on an older summer bracelet design that I have. And this is the bracelet that I wore into the store because I was really thinking that this little crab would look nice right in the center of this design with all of these deep blues. And I think just even having that Murano glass combined with the turtle on one side, and then I've got the octopus over here. I thought that that would look really nice together and put it right in the center, just add a little pop of color or another bracelet that I can add it to is my double wrap bracelet with rose gold charms. So I was thinking with this charm right here with the rose gold base and that little orange fish, I was thinking that this little crab might look nice dangling on this design or even combine if I was to combine these charms onto a regular moments bracelet. Um, another option I was thinking is combining him with Flounder. Flounder has some nice blues and turquoises and he does have a little movable tail. And then these are some of my older Little Mermaid designs. So maybe with the green, I could even combine them into this design, but so many options. And this little crab really excited me when I first saw him in the store. I just thought that Murano glass was so pretty. And I'm, I just think it's gonna be really fun designing with this one. So these are my first picks from Pandora's newest release and leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this new Pandora collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.